everybody, welcome back to another episode of Xeno Gears. We're about to begin Operation Ave, but there was one or two more things I wanted to do here in Bledevec before we left. Um, so I really quickly want to finish the Hide and Seek quest, because there's Hide and Seek Kid right there. And then there's one more. And then there's a bullshit hiding spot. Um, and then there's one more thing I want to do up at the festival, and then we're going to continue on. So we found him, now we're going to go up to the festival. Jump! I'm 90% sure you get something for finishing the hide-and-seek little minigame thing. So we want to go to Shacken Square. It's my accent coming through. So if y'all remember from the last video, we tried to go in here, and we weren't able to. But now we're in here, with this fucking, this music. Holy shit. <laughs> yes, I want to play the game. I don't think you get anything for playing the game, it's just random fun, but I figured I'd show it off. You can come back here way, way later in the game. But I figured I'd rather do it now. Show it off and then never touch it again. Different colored balloons will come out of the four halls. Each color is worth different points. Blue 10, green 20, yellow 40, red 80, white negative 100. So stay away from them whites. <laughs> Price will depend on how many points. So you do get prizes. I don't know what the hell the prizes are. So you gotta control the camera while also doing the... I'm fucking it up. There we go. Oh, not the whites. Whites are bad. No! I touched the whites. God, I suck. Oh, oh, yeah! Red one! Nope, nope. I'm actually doing okay. As long as I don't hit any more of those damn white ones. Hey! 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 Controlling the. No, not the whites! Controlling the camera at the same time as everything else is kind of a gigantic pain in the ass. Oh, God! Okay, that was probably fucking terrible. I got 800. That's pretty good. Oh, I got a Rosa Sol. Goody, yay. I'm sure the prizes are crazy if you get them higher or whatever. Who's balloons? Time, one time is 10G. Let's do it. Uh, yes, I want to play. So it's first thing in the morning here. And I'm drinking some uh, coffee. So hopefully y'all can deal with that. Mm. Welcome to Who's Balloons? Here are the rules. Children holding balloons will come floating down. Their balloons will fly away as they let go of them. And catch the balloons and return them to the children. The bingo bonus. None of the 16 bingo panels are lit right now. Whenever you return a balloon to a child, the panel will either light up or go out. And you get four lit panels in a row. It's a bingo. Each bingo returns five times the prizes. Okay, this is kind of crazy. Give me your balloon, you little shit! Okay, this goes to this kid. I think the yellow goes to... Yep. Okay, that kid was red. That's not... That's not... Come on! There you go. I don't know. <laughs> like, I'm at the point where I don't know whose balloons are whose. Okay, I know for a fact yours is... There we go. 
I'm probably not playing this nearly as well as I could be. There we go. Okay, I know this kid's balloon is red because she just dropped it. Come on! There we go. Grab that one, give it to this kiddo here. No, no, there, no. Uh oh. There we go. I'm not getting a bingo bonus here, that's for damn sure. This is also kind of an insane mess. I'm not gonna lie. Get rid of fucking. You gotta, like, look at the shadows where you're going. Oh, I'm fucking up. No, it's one of these fucking kids. There we go. Alright, are you yellow? Yeah, you are. So I just noticed that these kids are being dragged away by their balloons. Oh, there we go. Lost out, I think. Yep. So there's these crazy fantasy people that you run into, like that person there. I got an Aquasol. That's terrible. <laughs> um, and they don't explain what the deal is with these, like, humanoid people, but you learn later, and it's kind of fucking horrific, but we'll see that later. It's a huge plot point later. Welcome to the mirror of truth. Is this the real world? Is that the real world? I'll show you the truth. Zawarudo! I don't know why I had to go full Dio there. Okay, so you can do this stuff. So, I don't know what this is doing here. But that's it. That's all you get. And it's honestly the stupidest thing in this game. Now this is why we came here. It's Multan from the Laughing Pig Pub. So this is a guy from Lahan who recognizes Faye. And Faye has absolutely nothing to say to this guy. I started a business and now I'm really busy. I want to send my girl to school and buy nice things for my wife who are both most likely dead. He said he started his own business, but now he's saying the boss will get mad if he doesn't go soon. And poor Faye is too shocked and didn't have the heart to tell that guy that he killed his family members and blah blah blah. Okay, so that's what we came up here for. Glad I remembered to do that. Like, I'm playing this game 100. 80% just from memory, so if I'm missing anything, y'all are gonna have to tell me. That's, kid's not back here. We already did that one. I'm pretty sure he's at the other end of the place over here. Aww. That's one of the places he hides. No. Hmm. Oh, wait. Nope. He is on the other side. One of his hiding craft. We are the Raider Boys, joined together to protect Ave's peace. Yeah, hey. We protect the people of the desert from the steam heads of Kislev. Kids are yelling at me. Okay, I'm... Shut up. Seriously. Oh, this is annoying. Come on. I guess I was wrong, but I remembered there being... Or the kid hiding in there with that group of people. But it looks like that's not the case. 
So if this goes on for another couple minutes and I can't find this son of a bitch, I will uh, just quit. But I remember there being something like, okay, that's where he was last. Sorry for the crazy camera work, by the way. I remember there being something, there he is. I remember there being something fairly important or fairly interesting to finding this kid. He'll never find me there. All right, so let's do a quick load. There's a bunch of places we haven't gone to here in Ave. We'll get to it later, but there's a bar, there's a restaurant where you can go and eat and gain a bunch of weight. All right, where's that hole? So he's just in here, if I remember correctly. miss him? Or am I wrong? <clears throat> Probably completely wrong. His secret weapon, he'll never find us there. We'll never find... Oh, nope. He's right here. <clears throat> Jeez, how'd you find me? Forget it. I'm quitting hide and seek. Here's my badge. I don't need it anymore. Hide and seek badge. I'm actually gonna look. Oh, look at that. Hide and seek badge. Hide and seek king. Um. So the reason that I went through all that trouble and wasted y'all's time to get that is because. Oh, jeez, excuse me. It um comes in handy later. There's a bunch of different games um, located throughout the world, and for completing them, you get the stuff. Um, you get something special if you collect them all before you get to a certain point in the game. Alright, let's do it. Let's go to sleep. Sorry, I can't help you. I'm all ready, so I'm gonna get some sleep. Man, I'm beat. More sightseeing. Oh, yeah, here we go. Rest. This is what we want. Um, so that's why I did that now, because I think you can manage to get it later, but I'd rather do it now. Ah, and just be safe. First, Faye and I will prepare for the tournament at the arena. When the tournament starts, Bart will enter the waterway through the well and head for the castle. If you swim against the current, you should reach the castle. I am certain there will still be some guards there, so please dispose of them quietly. Um, for where I usually like to be for this tournament, I am underpowered. Um, I haven't done, just because I've been doing a lot more recording than, like, off-time playing and grinding. Um, which is another thing I do here, because with Faye, you can just leave the, uh, leave the city. Um, got it. Uh, normally I would be leveled up and I would have at least one, uh, six combo point death blow at this point, which I'm pretty sure I don't have any. Nope, I'm close to Hoten, but not nearly close enough anyways. I mean, I guess I could go level right now if I really wanted to. Eh. Let's make it fun. Uh, the interesting thing about the tournament that I'm doing here is that um, you, you can lose the tournament at any point. Um, however, you get some really interesting plot stuff if you beat it. Participants accepted her. Yep, participant going through. So, only participants are allowed here. Your friend will have to sit in the spectators area. Well, then I will be over here cheering for you. Anyways... If you guys see a dramatic crash cut at any point here, it means that the tournament went really, really, really bad, and I needed to restart and do all this stuff and do grinding. In which case, no big deal. So let's talk to some of the combatants. I'm strong, I'm strong, I'm strong. There's a woman with a another woman inside of her. You think women are weaker than men? Not really. Just saying that to impress me. Ah. Uh, Okay. Aren't you nervous? I've had to pee a couple times already. I have to go again. Again. <laughs> hey, it's Big Joe! 
Did we run into him in the bar in this playthrough in Dazzle? I can't remember. That's right, I am the one and only Big Joe! I think a lot of Big Joe's content was cut. Uh, because he he's like a gag character that keeps recurring throughout the game, but... He, that's all you get, is him as a gag character. Don't forget to thank the people cheering for you. Sometimes he seems like a cool guy, and then sometimes he seems like a fucking crazy person. Alright, so let's go over to the other tent here. Yeah? Alright. Human body is weak. I always fight against rock and metal. There's no way I can lose. Everyone is so excited. Isn't there a big festival or something? Isn't there? Completely oblivious to what's going on. Oh shit! It's Dan! Dan Dan! What are you doing here? I'm gonna kill you! So. This is a giant plot hole. Um. And the reason this is a giant plot hole is because what the fuck is Dan doing here? And that's explained later. But how did he know Faye was going to be here? That's never explained. Um, especially since Faye is being like super duper incognito. Hey, mister, are you from Lahan? Mystery man. Um, so he just knows Faye is going to be here and doesn't even say hi. He's just like, I'm going to kill you! And it, it's kind of... Super annoying, or whatever. It's like, you and that boy have some kind of problem. Who do you think you are? Mind your own business. Ha 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 ha. What's so funny? Nothing. There's like no audio right now. That's not a problem with the way I edited this. And this guy totally knows my name. Wait. Did Dan say my name? I don't think Dan said my name. I think Dan just yelled, I'm gonna kill you. I didn't enter my real name. So a bunch of interesting stuff happens here in the tourney. And now we're on to Bert. It's about to start. Sorry for my shitty dumb accent. It's already started. If something's wrong now, then that's tough. What are you worried about? Fail do okay. Besides, Satan is with him too. Now all I gotta do is sneak into the castle through the well. Alright. So there's two well entrance areas. No sweat. You'd better get out of Ave now too. Things are gonna get out of hand soon. Yeah, I bet they are. Uh, there's two entrances and one has some funny gag shit that goes with it. So I'm gonna go to that entrance and I'm gonna do my best to try and uh, do the stuff. Um, the game throws itself back and forth between Bart and Faye at this point, which is really neat, because the idea is that, like, it's both happening at the same time. Uh, this is all him. I can't slow this down or anything, so enjoy the semi-quickly scrolling text. But yeah, this, uh, this section here is actually really, really cool. just because of the way it runs itself. Did the game throw the fucking... Did I not miss... Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> I think you guys are going to have to deal with a cut here soon anyways, because those black bars shouldn't be there at the top and bottom, and I just noticed that. Son of a bitch! <sighs> so I'll fix that really quick after this cutscene here. Yeah? Hmm, moving speech, if I do say so myself. You know what? I'll throw it in now. Bear with me. Alright, hey guys, I'm back. That should fix the whole uh, black bar problem. Um, I hope. <laughs> I hope the black bars don't go away the moment I'm done with this cutscene or whatever. <laughs> Gay revelry. I think he meant that as happy, but, you know... The way he comes off, he's like, I don't got anything for this gay shit, bleh. I'm Ramses, nah, 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 nah.
Ah, delicious coffee. I find it boring. Oh, let it be, Commander. Shackin is only trying to show hospitality. I personally find martial arts quite interesting. I look forward to seeing the tournament. So both of these characters are very different. Because she's just like, yeah, and he's like, results! Japanese man, man. It's not even your country. What a dick. She's like, fuck it, I'm out. Would be a pleasure. Wandering slacker, it's me. I feel like that statement's a little bit more loaded than uh, what you think. And there's a reason for that that I won't spoil. Maybe it has something to do with Faye's past. Maybe it has nothing to do with anything at all. Oh, he keeps hitting me with his big stick. Iron Valor. I could just hit this guy with a couple death blows, honestly, but I'm having a fun. Wish I could do something to up his defense, uh, but he doesn't have any attacks like that. He doesn't have any ether or anything. I might have an item that does it, but I don't remember off the top of my head. Space faster than this guy. Not doing that much damage. The only problem is, like, you don't really get a chance to heal in between the fights. Why not? Do a fun little combo attack here. This might be the first time I've shown it off, but when you bank AP, you can use it to do the multiple death blows. Um. And they do more damage when chained together like that. At least I think they do. Otherwise, there would be no point to the goddamn... Oh, yeah, we do get a chance to heal up here, so that's good. Anyways, they better be able to do the thing. Otherwise, there, there would be no point to that whole system. Um... God, I completely lost my train of thought <laughs> just navigating the menus there. Uh, so this is Bart's section, and he gets to go swim through the sewers of Ave here. And there are these points where he gets hit by the current when the current goes faster, and so you basically get stuck, especially if you're going on an uphill segment. And, I mean, there's... Oh, I fucked up. There's really nothing you can do except wait for it to pass. Um, and if you're on the, if you're on the, these flat segments here, it's a lot less difficult. But I'm not always going to be there. Okay, this is a no-go. I'm looking for, there's a couple ladders and a couple items down here that you can grab uh, that prove to be useful later on. Uh, here's one of the things I want. Is this pipe right now? Come on, get to the pipe. Respect it. Respect the pipe. There we go. Let's go up the pipe and... Oh shit, we're in the restaurant! Do nothing. Do nothing. I'm trying to open that treasure chest. There we go! <laughs> So this is a cool little thing that you can totally miss. <laughs> it's actually pretty funny. But you can totally miss that. No, not the... No! No, not down the fuck. No, asshole! I'll fucking kill you! Son of a bitch. Okay. So you can totally miss that and never get that item ever. 
if you don't um, go for it now. Um, and the reason I was getting annoyed by the fact that I was getting pushed back there is because there is a timer here. Now, the whole timer thing is basically um, every couple of minutes, I can't remember the specific timing, but every couple of minutes, uh, Faye gets into another fight and then you switch over to him and you can complete the tournament before Bart gets out of the sewers. Looks like we got another fast thing here. And the problem with that, um, if you if you don't know, is that you can run into more guards once uh, Bart finally gets into the castle if the tournament's already over. It's not a big deal for us. We've spent some time leveling Bart, and I'm probably going to spend some time exploring the. Uh, I'm pretty sure I need to go to the left, but that could be wrong. Um, If you're not leveled up, the uh, soldiers that you run into can cause you a lot of problems. Uh, but since I'm leveled up and I'm going to be exploring anyways, it's not that big of a deal. Uh, but it's still annoying. This is funny, they're throwing fucking Pepsi cans at me. He doesn't do any goddamn damage. In fact, his fans do more damage than he does. His fans are fucking crazy. So they cheer support. He's basically got... He's basically twice as fast as you. And every other time his AT gauge fills, he attacks. And every other time his fans attack. So the combo system is interesting in this game. And I'm gonna say it because it's the fucking... It is the slogan of this playthrough. I probably talked about it before. But when you have three characters in your party, which is the max number of characters you can have in your party, um, and you get into some of the more difficult boss fights later in the game, um, you tend to want to have your highest attacker um, doing regular attacks, regular damage every turn with death blows. Um, you want to have your second highest attacker. God! This coffee is killing me. One experience point for him. You want to have your second highest attacker building up combo points to use a full combo bar. And then you want to have uh, your lowest attacker basically on healing duty going into gear. Anyways. Um, and that's a really good way to work on bosses. Also, you can use the character who's not attacking. I shouldn't be going this way, but I want to find more items. Um, is there anything back here? I think this is the way to the, or to the, the main entrance, the one you're supposed to use. Or it's just another fucking shit. Wasting time. Um... And what that allows for is it allows you to slowly build up damage over time and then um, hit these bosses, some of which are very, very tough, with um, like one or two rounds of incredibly heavy damage when you use the full combo bar. Um, come on, let's get up here without a faster thing. Uh, and the reason that's important is because you're basically, your main damage is coming from that combo attack. Um, and you've got the extra guy doing damage just to maybe help the fight go a little faster. Oh, this fucking water. There we go, I can kind of get myself stuck up on the geometry here. Um, but it gives you two characters to basically flex heal, which is important later on because you run into enemies later on in the game whose, like, main ability is to instant kill a character. Or they just do so much damage that they might as well be insta-killing characters. Um, and those fights can prove difficult if you haven't prepared yourself for them. I 
this goes fucking nowhere. I did have to go the other way. So all this time wasted in me running my mouth over shit that isn't important. Let's go up this way. Looks like I'm going to be getting up here. Nope. No. No, you son of a bitch. I hate you. I hate you so much. Just let me do it. Man, this episode's gonna be garbage for content. At least y'all got the the tournament right. At least y'all can watch the tournament. That's that's happening in between all this swimming shit. Yeah, like this part's fine from a gameplay perspective because at least it's a change of pace from what you're normally doing when you're exploring. But uh, from a viewer's from a viewing perspective, I wouldn't want to sit around and watch this. I know my dumbass isn't interesting enough to carry a conversation. All I'm talking about is the game. If y'all are here, you probably know. Here's where we want to go. If y'all are here, y'all probably know everything about the game already. Like, when I finally got that fourth episode up, I posted about it in the Xenogears subreddit. It's a cool subreddit. Oh, and there's another fight. Um, and people in there who are only in there because they're massive fans of this game. <clears throat> um, who've already played through the game and probably own it on PlayStation 3, or they still have their original PlayStation op, or they have it emulated, or they have the game some way. A poison attack? It is a poison attack. That's not cool. I don't have, I don't have anything to actually heal that. So I'm just going to have to keep hitting and hope I can out DPS this character. <clears throat> Jesus. Let me from my cafe. So as you can see, between the ability to poison me first fucking round and being able to heal herself basically an entire life bar, this character is uh, pretty tough. <coughs> God, I am sorry. The good news, I guess, is that I'll be able to heal myself. Or it just won't fucking matter because I'll just three hit this game character. Whatever. Samson's hair. It's a good item. Come on. Nope. All my hob jerky, heal and pay here. Yeah, no big deal. Right, so this is the final thing, and then I will be in the castle. So if you were completely lost <clears throat> and didn't have any idea what you were supposed to be doing, so you just gotta kinda wait for the floodgate to open. Um, if you had no idea what you were doing, you could easily be stuck in these sewers until well after the tournament. Also, if, you, if your Fey character in your playthrough was underleveled, um... Hey, we made it. Get out of there now, boy. Uh, if your fake character was under level, you could lose the tournament pretty much at any point. So this is an old guy. He just lives down here. How much did I tell you, huh? How many years has it been? Well, haven't you grown up? <laughs> so remember how Hide and Seek Kid said he got trapped down here? And he got scared by this guy? Yeah. Even back when I was a child, I used to ramble on and on. So let's talk about the subreddit earlier. Yeah, there's a really cool uh, Xenogear subreddit over on Reddit. Because where else would a subreddit be? Um, and... Sinus, what was his name? Blah, 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 blah. Um, I posted over there, and, and I posted about this LP, I think, like, once or twice, basically, when the first episode came out. Like, hey, I'm doing it, and then after my motherboard exploded, and I had to went, I had to go through a bunch of trouble to, like, 
retrieve the files from my hard drive before it got wiped and all that stuff. Um, you know, getting the files back and being able to actually edit the damn thing and load it up, I, I posted on there again, like, hey, it's still happening, you guys, and there seemed to have been a good response at that point. Semi-finals. So, Dan is real shit. I don't know who been training Dan, but he's as strong as I am. It's still not explained how he knew Faye was going to be here. Um... But yeah, the two times I posted there, I've gotten a pretty positive response. Pe you know, upvotes, people liking it. You know, the way you'd normally judge a popularity metric on the internet. Um, and if you're there from here, thank you. I appreciate it. I hope that this isn't your only way to continue to experience Xenogears. And you still have some way to play it. But, um... Yeah, if... if, if if you're from there, you know exactly what's happening in here. You probably know more about the backstory of the game than I do, blah, blah, blah. Even though I have a copy of Perfect Works, and I've had basically story time with local Weeboos translating it to me. <laughs> uh... But yeah, for people who've never seen this game before and are actually sticking with the LP, like, thanks. And I hope I'm not ruining it for you. So, I beat Dan. Um, there's two things that can happen. You can either beat Dan in the semifinals, and he goes on, er, and he calls you a bastard and you feel bad. Or, I've actually had no problem with any of these. Um, you can either do that, or you can let him win because you don't want to fight him. Um, and he wins the whole fucking tournament. Um, but, you miss out on some really interesting, like, phase backstory dialogue. Where you basically run into the guy, or into a guy who knows who you are. Um, and you only get that if you get to the end of the tournament. So these two remember each other, but he doesn't recognize Bart. So yeah. Cool old man. Quick save here. <laughs> Sorry again. I'm just completely fucking dying here, you guys. Oh my god. All sheet. There we go, we got our save in. Let's go explore the castle. There's another thing you get to do it now, and then you don't get to check out the castle until much later in the game. Um, you can stealth your way through the vast majority of this. Um, and there are no patrols right now. There would be patrols if the tournament was over. There's also barely any guards here. And all they're worried about is getting drunk. And they don't even care that I'm here intruding in the castle. Um, if you get to this point and for some reason you haven't done any grinding or whatever, and you have an underpowered Bart, uh, which can cause problems with a boss fight that's coming up soon. Um, and the tournament's over, you can actually, as Bart, just basically spend your time in here, uh, beating the ever-living shit out of a bunch of guards. I mean, there's still guards here in the castle area where I am right now, but we're going to go back up to the courtyard and check out the area around there, because there's a couple other cool little backstory things to run into, blah, blah, blah. Um, but you can actually grind Bart here. So here's one thing we want, which is Cobra Cracka, which earlier we purchased the Whippa Snappa. The Cobra Cracka is a little bit worse, but it does poison damage. Um, and with our current, uh, power level, level, um, it shouldn't be that big of an issue. 
I'm pretty sure you can poison uh, some bosses, including the upcoming boss with that thing, which goes a long way towards helping with that fight. Let's see, nothing here, and now we have the final fight of the tournament, the finals. Um, so this guy is some real shit. Waste a turn here. You can tell he's a real, real motherfucker, because he's just got his arms crossed and he's got his back turned to me. So as you can see, none of these attacks are fucking hitting him. And he's just yelling at me. The what a wimp at the bottom is the crowd screaming. So clearly we can't hit this guy. So clearly he's a real some bitch. Spectators grumpy. At this rate, people will be like, nah, just as I thought. Who cares where? Now put up a serious fight. So this is an interesting way for the finals to be going. Because this guy clearly doesn't care about the fight. He was just here for Faye. Because now he's talking to Faye. While also shaking Faye's resolve. Kind of. There's no way you could find such. Only looking at yourself like that, you will find nothing. Okay, Morpheus, shut the fuck up. Good try, Faye. This guy's some real shit. He knows who Faye is. And then he does that for some reason. Is it already that time? I've got to be on my way. And out he goes. So pretty interesting, right? Dan was the last fight you actually had to have. Then you run into this guy. You can't even touch him. He drops the bomb that he knows who you are and the deuce is out. Pretty cool. I think it's pretty cool. You know, thing. Alright, so that's the end of the tournament arc. And I think at this point there will start to be patrols on the first and second floor of this courtyard here. And we can do a little more exploring here, kind of show off the castle, and continue on. So, if you're stealthing through here and there's patrols, you can use this just take a peek thing to look out and see where the patrols are. Which I think is a cool little... Cool little stealth thing. Let's see. I knew I could grab Iron Mail off of one of those. That's pretty cool, right? You would never know to you would never know to do that. I'm gonna equip the iron mail. Uh, actually, is that better? That yeah, is. Oh, both of these are better. Where did I get the metal vest? Shit. Okay. Put iron mail on you. More defense, the better. So what's up with all these big ass guns in this room, bro? <clears throat> I'm rehearsing for tomorrow's meeting. That's all you gotta say. Okay, fine. I'm out. Who are you? Why do you look like that? Are you gonna come fight me? Yeah, you are. Alright, fight one of the castle. Let's murder this guy. These guys. So this is one of the problems of running into people here, is you never fight less than one person. And you will, can end up fighting up to six people at once with just Bart, who has no um, area attacks. 
Like, no attacks that hit multiple people. So you're stuck with Bart, who has kind of low defense. Fighting against a bunch of guys who can do a fair amount of damage to you per hit. And, um... You can basically get one-shotted by a group of enemies. Um, which, as you can guess, is a big frackin' problem. Right, so that door's locked. I'm pretty sure this one's locked, yep. Alright, so the only place we can go now, here, is this way. Back up into the main castle. And we'll do some exploring here and go up to the second floor. Pretty sure that's the way out. Oh, these camera angles are not the best here. And we can run into these patrols who, when they see you, they kind of Metal Gear Solids where they like, they see you and they run at you and fight you. I'm not going to be using any death blows on these guys just because using regular attacks and leveling up the, uh... Just doing random basic attacks will do enough damage and help level up death blows, which is always important. Until you get them all, it's always important. Then once you get them, it's just a matter of, like, where and how... Hey, another one. Yeah. Where and how do you want to grind out levels later on? Levels and, and, and gold, because you can actually use the gold later uh, for some very important things. Uh, especially at the end game, there's a special hidden secret, super secret shop that you run into. Uh, where you can buy some items that basically every time you equip one doubles your strength. And as you can guess, especially for gears, that's important. Um, so if y'all noticed in the last fight there, um, we were taking basically no damage. Um, if you haven't leveled your defense up enough and you don't have uh, heavy armor or the best armor equipped on Bart at the time, um, each one of those can do like a tenth of your health. And sometimes these guys will fire twice. And as you can imagine, that can be really tough. But as it stands, we're pretty much impervious to damage. Which, you know, that's nice. So we can one-shot these guys with regular combos without having to do death blows. We're not taking any damage. Perfect. Everything will work out great. So sorry if you guys are here for a will he or won't he be able to complete this section. I'll be able to. Don't worry about it. I don't like noisy places. So this is just some dignitary from somewhere. That's all we know about that guy. Hey, come on, fight me! I'm not intentionally trying to get into fights. Um, but I'm not going to avoid the patrols to avoid fights. I mean... Like I said, getting those death blows up is important. And that and getting through this is my main goal, so... Hopefully you guys can bear through the little bit of... I mean... It's less than you would have in a regular dungeon with random battles, so... The tournament arena. Shit, I went to the wrong side. I want to go right over here. Oh, I can't go through the door when he sees me. Damn it! I was just trying to run by. Whatever. Another quick fight. Oh! Horrible neck pain. I love how he takes a grenade basically to his dick and he's just like, Yeah, it's fine. My white hot pants. Totally got it. I think he's wearing a jumpsuit. I think he's wearing... Hey, that's a good level. I think he's wearing, like, a full-body suit. Like a pilot suit with just, like, a jacket over the top. Hey, look, the patrols are here now. Finally. So... Maybe I won't do the patrol. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. 
because, like, I don't want to miss anything in the castle, and I don't remember everything that's in the castle, but I don't want to waste y'all's time either. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Hopefully I'm not disappointing any of y'all. Alright, I think we're going to get into another immediate fight because there's another guy right there. So we ran into basically two patrols at once. Shit, he might be able to grind out a six-point death blow by the time we uh, get to the end of this. So this is more of what you'd run into if you took forever to get here. And like I said, it's great for grinding out levels, but it's not great if you're underleveled. And I guess it kind of, you know, it's, you know, combat is the great equalizer. If you're in combat, you're not going to be... Uh, or you're going to be gaining levels, which is important. So how the fuck did he get that through this tiny ass little door? Okay, so, that tells me that these guys respawn, which tells me that, fuck it, we're, uh, not going to be shit. You know what? I went the wrong way. Again, I have to go across there. Darn it! I'm wasting everybody's time, including my own. Oh, well, we'll get to the end by the time. Uh, basically, by the end of this episode, we'll, we'll have reached Margie. That's not what I meant to do, but the controller's fucked up, so, yeah, it happens. So, yeah, this area does become a slog if uh, you're here when there's patrols. So, we're basically going to run our, pa our ass through some fights here. And then, since they respawn, I'm not going to be checking out any of the other doors. There's a couple more rooms... Um, with some possibly interesting dialogue in there, there's, ah, uh, there might be another item or something. Um, honestly, nothing that's going to be the end of the world if I miss it now. Um, and I like showing off as much of the game as possible, but... Now it's just like we're just running through the same thing over and over at the expense of time. And so, nope, not doing that. What do y'all think of Bart's whip animation here? It's just... It's big ass whips. Hey, I got him on one. It's a ton of damage. Good. Get Bart some levels, run through all this shit. Here's where we need to go. And we need to go up. You know what? I'm gonna do some stuff here really quick because I know for a fact there are some items here that are important to get. And I don't remember exactly where they are. This is one of them. And then there's that downstairs area. Okay, I was wrong here, damn it. So this is an area we couldn't get to from the other side, which was the first floor of this area. Oh no, did I just... Oh! That door's locked otherwise. Okay, so there's that. And there's no enemies here, so I can, I can hazard a little exploration without wasting too much time. So this is the throne room. Where Bart's daddy sits. Cool throne room. Very ornate, but also very Spartan. Which I mean, it's a PlayStation 1 game. It's not like they're going to clutter it up with all sorts of crazy shit. Up here is where the items are. The stuff is, I should say. Up! Oh, there's people! Oh my god! Oh. You know what? Fight them and see what's in that room they're guarding. Might be something cool. 
Yeah, you ain't got nothing. If I hadn't hit him first, he would have gone immediately after me and I would have taken one extra attack. Actually, no, I would have taken the same amount of attacks, so... Either way, it works out the same. Works out fine. Everything's fine. No. Okay, that's the room I know I need to go to. I think this is like, supposed to be... This is somebody's bedchamber. It might be the king's, but I could be wrong. And over here is another room. Another bedroom, I'm pretty sure. Another bed chamber that we want to check out. I took a shot to the face! Probably shouldn't be wasting long time with these super long combos. The seconds add up, man, they really do. But doing that helps with the death blows. Like. If you look at where Bart's at now, he's pretty close to his first six point, which is good. I won't hit it. Oh, this is actually where we want to be. Okay, you know what? We're going to do a little more exploring because our time is almost up for today. Okay, aww. Here's where I wanted to go. No! That's the king's bedroom. So the one below it is for other people. Ow! One of the important, well, not really important things to think about is that, like, the heavier attacks have a higher chance of missing. But they always do more damage, so it's like, do you want a chance to miss, but also a chance to do, you know, big wipeouts? <laughs> or do you want a bunch of small guaranteed hits? And so here we are in Khan's bed chamber. Should be mine. Should be me. I am the king, Bart. I think there's an item somewhere here. I could be wrong, but another thing we can do. We can go over here to this CCTV camera and we can look around at stuff. East Tower, Citadel Third Floor. And from here, this is not the one I wanted. What button do I press? There we go. Oh, let's do it one more time. I want to do a stupid super Japanese thing. Might be the East Tower. Yeah, we can skis on our cousin. Yeah. Look at her. She's walking around. Oh my god. Japan. Skeezy, skis, skis. Okay. I've been creepy enough for one day. I've been creepy enough for one LP. I've ruined it for everyone. Right, so now, we're gonna go say hi to Margie. Probably get into a fight here again. Oh no! They're still dead. Yay! Fuck! <laughs> it's the other door. It's that door. That's where we want to go. Hey! Let me into my cousin's bedroom. No, it's not not like that. You learn later it's exactly like that. Kind of. I'm terrible, I'm sorry. Something wrong with me. If you liked or disliked my creepy skeezing on Bart's cousin here, like, comment, or subscribe. Hey! Hi, Margie. How you doing? Let's go home, Margie. Big hugs. She happy. Bart happy. Everybody happy. She takes this strange stuffed animal that's just hanging out there. 
All right, so as I'm saving, and it's been a little over an hour at this point, uh, we are done for today. Thank you guys once again for the tournament. Pirates Lair, the tournament, uh, 827, that's where I want to go. Yeah, once again, thank you guys for coming out. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, you should subscribe and check out the other stuff we got. Um, I am Jeff, or Wu-Tang depending on where you know me from. And thanks. Uh, we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Bye. We love you. Like, platonically. Not, not like the sex stuff. Yeah.